There's nothing to clue us in as to who could have sent Agent Krieger to kill Peter. I think it's significant, Krieger's death. You know, he was hit, yes, and it was serious, but nobody thought it was fatal. The prognosis was that he was going to recover, and then he up and dies here in the hospital. Convenient for somebody. All right. How's the patient? You ready to get out of here? The sooner the better. There's a loose end from Europe. Yeah, I was just explaining that a bureau agent who went after Peter, he ended up being in an exchange of gunfire with my team. And he got hit, and he just died before he could be interrogated. Ah. He had a phone on him, though. Anything there? I mean, no. Most of the data was just related to navigation. There was one phone number that piqued my interest. Belonging to? It was a burner, unfortunately. But the area code was local. Local to here, you mean? Yes. So whoever this agent was communicating with was likely here in Port Charles. Is anybody thinking who I'm thinking? Look, Anna, can you hand me my clothes? I'm not waiting for the nurses anymore. I, mean, I gotta get down to the I, precinct. I don't know oh, that no, that's you good... don't. If you think you're going anywhere other than home, you have to answer to me first. Do you hear me, Max Scorpio? I think the whole hospital heard you. Your choice is here or home. Work is not an option. There's a situation, Felicia. Well, there's going to be a situation if you do anything other than try to get better. Do I have you two to thank for this? No. Us? Are you trying to encourage my husband to prematurely return to work? I was just briefing him. Turncoat. I came to check on him. Mac, you are indispensable. See? But I, too, am concerned about his health, so I'm going to see about a temporary replacement. No need for a temp. Mac's done a great job as acting commissioner, but I'm back and reporting for duty. Jordan! Jordan. <laughs> How are you feeling? Did you have to get here? you a squad car? <laughs> oh, we could have done better than a squad car. <laughs> I left yesterday. I took a car service. And I feel great. You look great. Mm. <laughs> Being at the clinic for so long had its challenges, but I can't argue with the level of care. So you're back for good now? And apparently need to get caught up. Let's step outside. It's really good to see you've recovered. Now it's your turn. <laughs> Come on, let's go. The discharge nurse gave me the papers. You ready to go home? Oh, I was born ready. To leave a hospital? Yeah, that really doesn't work, does it? <laughs> it doesn't. Oh, Jordan, it's so good to see you. You're looking so strong and healthy. And ready to hit the ground running. Oh, God, I've missed you so much. I missed you too. Well, thank you for all the calls and texts. Mm. And for your beautiful weekly flower deliveries. Oh, thank God. <laughs> you both really kept my spirits up. Good. Well, we are both just so grateful to have you back. Now, tell me something, Jordan. Are you sure you're ready to go back to work? I'm sure. You should have seen me when I heard Peter August was on the loose. Oh my goodness, they probably had to lock you in your room. <laughs> Almost. I know that's wrapped up, but there have to be other pending cases. What? The investigation isn't completely wrapped up. Well, what's the status? Jordan, some of this is classified and you're not officially back on the job yet. Right. I'm sorry. I should have called you first before just assuming I could pick up where I left off. I don't know, Laura. I mean, if this runs as deep as we suspect, we're going to need as much help as we can get as quickly as we can get it. Well, then, uh, barring a few small but necessary formalities, I hereby reinstate you as commissioner of the PCPD. Welcome back. <laughs> you won't regret it. I know that.